welcome to the Toffee Blues, your source for all things Everton. This is the player ratings for Newcastle 2, Everton 1. Not a great day for Everton at all. Kind of like last week, really. Two back back to losses. But if you want to check out the match reaction, that's in another video. We're here for the player ratings, aren't we? So let's just get into it. Robin Olsen, I've given him a 6. Now, I don't think he'd done too bad, actually. Um, the penalty win, it's a penalty. Go either way, can't it? Um, Callum Wilson, I think he'd scored five of his last six, so he was likely going to score. And the goal, I'm not really sure it was his fault. But he did pull, like, it was Mina's fault, let's be honest. Um, he pulled off two great saves. One in the first half with St. Maxima had their best chance of the game. He pulled off a good save, but an even better one in the second half, just after Wilson scored the penalty. That was a wonder save, that. So, not a bad debut, all in all, even though they did score two, but I'm not saying that there is fault or anything. Looks as... A quite a good backup keeper to be honest and many might even want him to start above Pickford who knows but alright alright let down by the team today so I'll give him a 6 John Joe Kenny I've given him a 4 I want me you just want something more from him especially when you know he's, he's got to grab his chance and I don't even think in the League Cup games he's done that great I don't know if he's the answer to being our, our right back to be honest I just don't think he's good enough. Maybe he will prove me wrong. I hope he does. He's a young lad. Don't mean to get on his back. But he just weren't in the game enough today. He did put a few good crosses in. One in the second half to Calvert-Lewin. But ultimately, I just thought they could read Kenny really well. And limited them, really, when he was going forward. I thought the other left, the other side, full-back was better than him. And he's highly played for us. But... Not a great game from Kenny, in my opinion. Give him a four. Went to one of the worst players on the pitch. There was a few who had terrible games, in my opinion, but gets a four. Michael Keane, I've given him a six. I thought he was one of our better players. Dealt with most that come his way, most crosses or whatever. And actually went up front by the look of things for the last ten minutes. Or he was very far forward for the centre-half, anyway. And caused them problems, to be honest, when he was on the ball, I thought. But... <sighs> Just an average game for him. Wasn't held by his centre-half counterpart, who I'll get to in a minute. But Michael Keane, you know what you're getting. You're going to get a good game from him going by post-lockdown, aren't you? I think he's been a better player. I don't know if it's no crowd there or just Carlo you know, making him a better player. I don't know. But, yeah. Get to six. Didn't do too bad. Yeti Mina, give him a three. I don't think he was doing anything too wrong. To be honest, I mean, a lot of sideways passing, but everyone was doing that. However, he got done for the goal. The lads just beat him for the pace, like he's not even there. And I think he just committed himself to the ball going forward, and he shouldn't have. He just sat back and left Fraser run at him, maybe. But he just got done, and it led to the goal, ultimately. And <sighs> Yeah, maybe it's harsh giving him a three for that one bad mistake he done, but at the end of the day, it's lost us the game, because... We could have got back into it, but he's just, he went on it. <laughs> just give him a three. Now he's in Konku, I've given him a six. I think I think this is his first start in the Premier League for us, so, um, correct me if I'm wrong there, but I'm sure it is. Um, I, yeah, it is. I don't think um, he done too bad. You know, he, he tried to get forward. He's a young lad, and he, he did try and get forward and make things. There's times where... The players were just knocking it around, left, right and centre, backwards. And he, even he thought, I, th even, he, I even think he thought he was getting, I think even think he was fed up as I was. So he tried to do something, which is fair enough. You know, got brought off after, with about 25 minutes to go. But, or 20 minutes to go, but I don't, he done all right, done all right. You know, was better than Kenny, I thought, and tried to make a few things happen. Tried to get a few crosses in. I thought he was, oh, he done all right. Alan, thought he was probably one of the better midfielders. I'll give him a six. Um, I did, Look, he does a job well, so much better when he hasn't got to go forward and stuff and the team are attacking him are playing well and he can just do the dirty work at the back. But he had to go forward a bit today and try and get involved. And I thought he did at times, you know. I thought he was trying to drive us a little bit. I thought he done well in the middle of the park for what he had to do. I mean, he's got to be the furthest player back, hasn't he? So... He's one I can't really blame for going sideways and back all the time. But there was times he was trying to go forward as well and, you know, drive us up a little bit. And from a deep position, 
I can't really blame him for not making everything come off. But uh, I thought he'd done all right, Alan. He was passion was nice. This, you know, passion and distribution was spot on. Don't think he had a. He was better than last week. Put it that way. Fabian Delph, give him a five. Now a lot of people were sleeping Fabian Delph online. Fair enough. If you, if you think he had a bad game, he had a bad game. He didn't have a great game, I know that. Um, but I just thought all the midfielders were very similar today, and everyone was just because it's Delph. So. I don't know, I, I, there was a time in the second half he tried to get about 20 crosses in, I don't think any of them beat the first man, to be honest, but yeah, it, it went a great game for Delph, um, popped it left and right and here and there, uh, below average game, really, Delph 5, the core I'd give him a 5 as well, I thought at times he was trying to make things happen and stuff, but ultimately he wasn't in the game too much. I mean, I was going to give him a six, but then I thought, no, I'm not just giving him the benefit of the doubt because he's a new signing. So, not a great game for him either. Did try in places to get forward and stuff, but ultimately it didn't lead to anything. Look, I'm not, look, the players today weren't great at all, but the formation was terrible, in my opinion, so that didn't help anyone. <sighs> Uh, Gilfie Sigurdsson, this might be harsh here, but I've given him a five as well. However, in the last ten to fifteen minutes, he did try and get us back into the game with you know with a few shots and a few passes, but was missing for large portions of the first half. I thought, and the first half of the second half, really, I just don't know what it what he can do for us now. I, I just think we need to replace him. I want him to shoot and stuff. I mean, there's times he come close and stuff, but ultimately, you want him to do more. He's playing behind a striker. You want him to start creating stuff, and not for the not to the last fifteen minutes, he come alive. I thought so. Yeah, Andre Gomez. This might be harsh because I don't know if he's out of position because he's a centre mid and he's sort of in the guilty role today. You know, behind the striker, a bit further forward. Towards the left hand side, really, but I was baffled with the formation. I don't know where he was, to be honest, but he was further forward than he's used to. However, I've given him a two because he was dreadful. He was absolutely terrible. Um, people might disagree with that, whatever, but I just don't think he'd done anything for us today. Um, give the penalty away. People might say it's accidental or it's clumsy. <sighs> Swing a leg out like that, you're asking for trouble. Wilson may have made the most of it, but. It just capped off a terrible game for him. Um, distribution was the worst out of all the midfielders. I know a lot, I said a lot of the players were pretty much similar, but he stood out of being the worst for me today. He just kept giving the ball away. He weren't on it. People were passing to him, making a run, and then he'd pass it the other way. And I really want this lad to prove me wrong, but I've been saying now for a couple of years that I just don't think he's good enough. I just think our fans overeat him. I just don't see what... They, I think them, you lot who love him might see a different player than I do, but I just don't think he's good enough. And this might come back to bite me, whatever, fair enough. Hope it does. I hope someone records this in six months' time and goes, what's this lad on about? I really hope they do. But from what I've seen since we signed him two years ago, he's been terrible. I just don't think he's good enough. And He's had a few good games this season, but he was terrible in the derby. He was dropped last week, and he was terrible again today. So, he's getting a two. <laughs> Simple as. Dominic Calvert-Lewin, give him a 6.5 for the goal. But, you know what? I thought Dom, what he had to feed off today, he was he was all right. You know, he held the ball up. He was a bit of a nuisance for him. And, yeah, I just... I, I thought he'd done all right for what he did, and he got the goal at the end. I just wish we would have fed him through a bit more because that just showed the killer instinct he's got at the end. But he held the ball up well, gave, made a nuisance to himself. And I felt a bit bad for him today. He needs Richarlison and Hammers at the end of the day up front with him to make that forward three work, doesn't he? But if you want me to give a man of the match, I'll name it in a minute. Getting on to the subs then, Bernard. Give him a five. Thought he was a little bit better than last week, but... Then again, I did give him a six last week, so I'm talking crap there. Look, uh, he done all right, but he was on for a lot less time today so than last week, so maybe that lowers the score a little bit. He was just trying to create in that, but ultimately never changed the game for us. 
the end of the day. But I, th- I thought he was trying something different compared to the rest of the midfielders around there. But ultimately, I'll give him a five. Chen Tosin, three. Don't remember him doing anything, to be honest. Oh, yeah, he did set the core up. But the core I think he just got a shot blocked or whatever. Ultimately, came on, didn't do anything. But, look, I'm not fully blaming him for that. He's up front and he's feeding off a load of central midfielders. There's no one with width to get him in there. And... There was no service to him, but I've given him a three because he was on the pitch for about 25 minutes and hardly touched the ball. Alex Iwobi, give him a five. I was going to give him a four, but he did set Calvert Lewin up. And there was a few times he really did frustrate me, though, but ultimately I'll give him a five for the assist. <sighs> yeah, there you go. Sorry about not being more enthusiastic on this video, but it's hard um, when players just put performances in like that. So ultimately, my man of the match is going to be Kadama Calvert Lewin with a 6.5. Mainly for the goal. Could have been him or Olsen or Michael Keane. It was out of them three, but I'll give it Calvert Lewin because he scored. Hopefully he carries that into next week. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this player ratings. If you want to uh, comment about the, the player ratings underneath, leave it below. We'll try and get back to you. If you want to like this video, please do. Please share and please subscribe. And we'll see you all later on the Toffee Blues. Thanks. See you later.